Good day and welcome to the Math Salon. Today we are going to look at a question for the advanced level the integration. This will be in combination with partial fractions. So the question says express f of x which is 2 divided by x squared minus 1 in partial fractions and find this integral. So what do we do? Normally most questions that have to do with integration with the application of partial fractions are always simple partial fractions. They are not the most complicated one. If you want to get a complicated partial fraction, it usually comes under a separate question. So it means that don't spend too much time in trying to demonstrate all your techniques of partial fractions when the main interest is integration. I will show you a little. So the first thing we have to do is we have our f of x, which is equal to 2 over x squared minus 1 express this in the form of partial fractions. We know that if you look at this denominator, we can actually factorize the denominator. This is the difference of two squares. That means x minus one, or let's just say x plus one, x minus one. Nothing there you can change or that, just a beauty. So if I look at this factors, they're all linear, meaning that the coefficient of x, the power that you see, sorry, the power of x is only one. So these are linear functions of x. When we have linear functions of x, normally you say to express in partial fraction will just be looking for something where we have a divided by x plus 1 plus b divided by x minus 1. That is what you'll be looking for. Once you can solve for the a and b, then you know that you have had your partial fractions. That is the idea. So there are a number of ways we can do that. You can decide to simplify this part, then equate the numerators with this and solve two simultaneous equations, or you can use what they call the cover-up method. I will take the cover-up method. It's easier and faster. How does the cover-up method work? If I want to get A, this A here, A is with X plus 1. So I ask myself, what would make X plus 1 0? That is when X is equal to minus 1. I cover X, this, this factor, and substitute X equal to minus 1 in the remaining one. So A will be equal to 2 divided by minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. And that's equal to 2 and minus 2, and that is minus 1. Then, for B, to get B, B has to be on X minus 1. So I'll cover this here. I see that X equal to 1 will make this 0. So I cover this here, and I substitute X equal to 1 in the remaining part. So in that case, I have 1 plus 1, and that is 1 plus 1 here. This is 2 on 2, and that is equal to 1. So it means my a is minus 1, my b is 1. So my f of x in partial fractions would be minus 1 divided by x plus 1 plus 1 divided by x minus 1. That's fine. Now let's look for the integral. So my integral of f of x, I will keep the limits and put at the end. So I will not repeat them again and again. This is the integral of this side because we see that they're identical minus 1 all over x plus 1 plus 1 all over x minus 1 all the dx I can separate my integral is distributive so this is minus the integral of 1 over x plus 1 dx plus the integral of 1 all over x minus 1 dx Recognize that if you differentiate the denominator here, you get 1, and that is that corresponds to the numerator. If you differentiate the denominator here, you get 1, which corresponds to the numerator. That means the integral is simply the natural log of the denominator. So this is minus the lean of x plus 1 plus the lean of x minus 1. Because this is a definite integral, I don't need to put a constant. It's not useful. So I could just say that to go from 5 to 7. I can rearrange them so that this comes in front and that goes behind. Then I get linear x minus 1 minus lean x plus 1. It makes it a little more beautiful. So we can now come here. So here then I can combine these two. If you subtract two logs, then it is the log of the ratios. So that is the lean of x minus 1 divided by x plus 1. And that's from 5 to 7. So here you simply put the upper limit minus the lower limit. This is equal to, if I put the upper limit here, I get, this is the natural log of 7 minus 1 is 6. 7 plus 1 is 8. Minus the lower limit. 
5 minus 1 is 4. 5 plus 1 is 6. And this is equal to. So here you would see that these are also difference of two logs. So normally I would write this is lean divided by 6 on 8 divided by 4 on 6. But this is like multiplying and inverting. So this is the lean of 6 on 8 times 6 on 4. If you arrange that well, 2 year 2, 2 year 3, 2 year 1, 2 year 3. So 3 times 3 is 9 and that's 9 on 8. So, and that is the integral. Hope you liked it. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe, discuss with your friends. I've got some of my audience saying sometimes it's difficult for them to be able to get network. Or there are also many students that don't even have a phone, don't have a computer. If you have, please share with your fellow friend. That is the intention of doing this. So we can help each other. Have a great day. Bye.